Good morning. Welcome back to my channel, my Strictly Lovelies. It's your favorite and former Jerry Strictly, and I'm here with another video. In today's video, I will be talking about manifestation and meditation, positive words, and morning affirmation. So, if you guys would like to see more videos like this, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell. And let's get into this video. Um, this is what I use. I have my rocks. I use my rocks to misplace because I really don't have no crystals. So rocks for releasing my energy, releasing negative energy, positive energy. And once you are done with that rock, you store that rock somewhere outside, somewhere that you're not going to pick it up again, okay? An image and reflection of crystals, regular uh, rocks that you can get from Dollar General. Well, let me go ahead and tell you the reason why I have these cups of water. All right. The one that, that is filled with water, I will be pouring all negative thoughts, hurt feelings, Things that make me feel bad, things that make me feel a way I don't want to feel. I'm going to say it into this glass of water. Bad vibes, depression, anxiety. I'm going to pour all of that into this cup of water. Saying how I'm, you have to say how you feel. And once you say how you feel and you done, you feel like you done got all of that bitterness out of you. And then you pour the negative water into your positive, empty glass. You pour your negative water into your positive, empty glass. You're going to say positive things. Speak loving words, encouraging words. Speak things that's going to uplift you in your positive cup. And once you are done doing that, you drink. And once you're drinking your positive water, every gulp, you say something encouraging. It can be love, joy, happiness. Drink every sip with positive energy. It's going to feel good to you. You're going to feel refreshed. And you're going to feel like you have my candles. Just something to me and I have a crystal light as well we're going to get into the wisdom of the word a black rock for protection that's something I, I will be talking about today um, protection for me myself and my child you know even for others that's out there who need protection and guidance I have this black rock. I'm going to put all my energy into this. I'm going to pray. We're going to pray. And we're going to store this rock somewhere where we would never pick it up again. All right? Have my pen and my notebook just in case I want to take notes. And the reason I like taking notes because I need to see things. And when I take notes, I comprehend things very differently. And we're going to read the Bible. Well, we're going to read a prayer from the Bible. We finna um, do a morning affirmation. And this kind of helped me get my day started. Saying affirmation really builds my character into the woman that I want to be. So, let's repeat. I am happy. I am happy. I am healthy. I am healthy. I am cheerful. I am cheerful. I am joyful. I am joyful. I am overjoyed. I am overjoyed. I am tenacious. I am fortunate. I am a fortunate. 
I am living my dream come true. I am living my dream come true. I the morning affirmation is over with. Thank you guys for that. Them two little words, I am, can change your life for a lifetime. Pray. which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. But deliver us from evil. For thou is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Well, we come to you this morning asking for protection. Protection over our children, protection over our families and loved ones. Lord, we ask you to protect our footsteps, you protect our mind, you protect our bodies and soul. Lord, you already know what we need before we come to you. And all we ask is you protect us on our journey. Forgive us if we done did something that is not like of you, Jesus. We thank you on today, Lord Jesus, for letting us see another day. To let us share our creativity, Lord Jesus. We protect our heart, Lord Jesus. And God, we trust. We have no worries because in God we'll provide. No worries, because our God is our God, and we know who He is and what He does. Praying for the ones who are lost by their need, God. I am a child of God, and I do what you need for me to do, and it is done. Everything that we ask for on today. It is done. You ask for it, it is given. The house that you want, it is done. You ask for it, it is given. He knows what you need and he knows what you want. If you trust in him, you walk by faith and not by sight. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right. So we're going to jump into the wisdom word for women. Any books at your um, food market or you know Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, something inspirational to you that will help you. Something read things that you can understand and comprehend. If you feel like you can't read and comprehend and understand what you are reading, ask God to give you a view on your sight to view things differently. Open yourself up to receive the word, if that makes sense. You have to open yourself up. You have to receive everything. You have to believe in yourself that you got it, that you have it, and it is done. Let's talk about if you give even a cup of cold water to one of the least of my followers, you will surely be rewarded. Matthew chapter 10 verse 42. And the question of today is, why should I be kind? Why should I be kind to others? 
it said, be kind because God been kind to you and asked you to pass it on to others. It is a way to show others his love. If you accept others to be kind to you, you must be kind to them. Be kind to each other, tender hearted, forgiving one another, just as God through Christ has forgiven you within us. If most people don't know, you are God. God is within us. That's why they say seek for yourself because you have to seek for yourself who you are. You have to, no one cannot do it for you besides yourself. You have to seek God within yourself because no one can do it for you. How has God shown kindness to me? been having joy in everything that I do because I want better. God takes your faith every three seconds out of the day. So you just, you know, going through tests and trials every second of your life, every movement that you make. And make sure you're making the right step. You gotta make sure you're making the right move. And with that being said, I had a lot of people coming up to me, questioning me, trying to figure out who I am and who I was. All right, they did God the same way because they didn't know who He was. We all are creators. Who want to get into your mind to see the way that you think, to see your plans, your goals, your mind. They want to get into your mind to see how can they play with you. So you have to be strong-minded. And when I heard things that I didn't want to hear or seen things that I didn't want to see, I talked to my enemies and let them know in encouraging words that you need God is. I had multiple people asking me, why are you talking to me like that? I'm not that woman that you want me to be. I cannot make that choice for you right here and right now to just stop what I'm doing to jump back and get on your level. I cannot do that. Be strong, Matthew. Do not let this earthly war bring you down. Lord is merciful and compassion, slow to get angry, and filled with unfailing love, okay? The Lord is righteous in everything he does. He is filled with kindness. What I am doing today, I put in the effort. Everything that I touch, is filled with love. The touch is gentle. I prepare something for, for you guys. I'm, I'm sharing something with you guys. Not because it, it was forced to be done. It's what helps you on your journey. You take what's out there and you apply you. And once you apply you, you do everything with love, joy, happiness, and treat others kind. It's simple. Once you read these books and understand that this is for you, you start being you. You understand who you are as a person. I am joyful. I am kind. I am loving. I am willing to share. We did our um, morning affirmation. We did our morning prayer. We got a little wise word for today, and I want everybody to be kind in everything that they do. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Understand that you are on this journey, on your journey. The question is, how are you going? What are the things that you are doing to get there? Share that with people because we have people out here that, 
that are disordered, that need help, that only through life one way. You don't have to mirror that. You don't have to feel like you're under pressure to do the things that they are doing. Who is it, sir? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Let me meditate! to be there 
no one can take you away from being there because you are happy you are loved you are a good friend you help others you got a raise on your job These are the things that keep you going and make you happy. And once you are done, you drink your positive water. And every gulp, you drink love. You drink joy. to the end of our morning motivation. We come to the end of our manifestation. I feel good. I feel refreshed. I feel like I can get my morning started on a good note. I want to share something with you guys. The reason why I say let's do things in a strictly loving way because I really want us females and males to have standards with trusting this life righteously encouraging other people with the knowledge of loving themselves hopefully i'm gonna say hopefully you can still make it and my word that's what i've been spreading on my journey to do everything in a strictly lovely way as well as having loyalty over all values in this eternity life that we are living youthfully our creators we are we create our journey we create our journey and this is my journey to do everything in a strictly lovely way. To help people understand the love of loving their self can get them so far. Can get them very far. Because they have standards and they trust the process. It took me a while to understand this word because hair <laughs> because of hair giving people a different look like I said earlier being, being kind to my clients being kind to my friends and my family and other people that I meet sharing I'm sharing my thoughts because I trust in myself. I don't worry if they want to um, hurt me or do things hurtful or wicked towards me. Because I have my own standards with trusting this life righteously. You know, I teach myself, I encourage myself giving myself the knowledge of loving myself. We all been down a road that we did not know where to turn, which way to turn. And, and very thankful to know my worth. I am very thankful to understand For me to be a single mother, I am a strong woman. Like I said in the beginning, we go through a test every three seconds out of the day. You know, we are tested. God tests our faith. He tests our belief. And who you 
say you are. Who I say I am, I am. And I have to go by that. You feel ways that you do not supposed to feel. Be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get anger. That what it was. Thank you guys. I be at work, I hear things that I don't want to hear. I see things I don't want to see. But you have to be quick to listen to others and what they say to you because they are showing and telling you who they are. And if you feel deep within your spirit and your soul that it's nothing like your liking, forgive them, people, because they, they don't know. And we have to forgive ourselves for allowing or accepting that type of energy. But yes, I just want to speak nothing but encouraging words to you guys this morning. I want you guys to wake up in the morning, meditate, pray to your pray, get on your knees, pray, do whatever that make you feel spiritual in the morning. Connect your um spirit and your soul together so you guys can be on one accord get into your crystals get into your candles get into yourself okay i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys if you guys want to see more videos like this or i just have spiritual talks or whatever i'm i'm willing and i'm open to receive what comes to me Right, we will be getting to cleansing, cleansing bad energy. We will be getting to our auras if people don't know nothing about it. But we will be get, getting into doing things in a strictly loving way. Everything that you touch, make sure you apply gentleness, love, joy, happiness in everything that you do. Put and give what you want to receive. the video you guys make sure you guys like comment subscribe make sure you ring that bell for more um videos and um notifications you know thank you guys for watching this video and this is it to blossom like i said it's your favorite informer i'm an informer i'm giving you guys information and the things that i do that make me feel good as a person all right and i need more people to feel good as who they are let's get into it